What's up, love and marriage? Love here with a question for you. What does life mean to you? You know, according to Wikipedia, the meaning of life or the answer to the question pertains to the significance of living or existence in general. Many other related questions. Why are we here? What is life all about? What is the purpose of existence? There have been many proposed answers to these questions from many different cultural and cultural and ideological backgrounds. The search for life's meaning has produced such philosophical, scientific, theological, and metaphysical speculation throughout history. Different people and cultures believe different things for the answer to the question. It says the meaning of life as we perceive it is derived from philosophical and religious contemplation and scientific inquiries about existence, social ties, consciousness, and happiness. Many other issues are involved, such as symbolic meaning, ontology, value, purpose, ethics, good and evil, free will, existence of one or multiple gods, conceptions of gods, the soul, and the afterlife. Scientific contributions focus primarily on describing related empirical facts about the universe, exploring the context and parameters concerning how of life. Science also studies that can provide recommendations for the pursuit of well-being and conception morality. An alternative humanistic approach poses the question, what is the meaning of life? So first question, what is the meaning of life? What is it all about? Who are we? I mean, if I was to ask that question, what is the meaning of life in my over 40 years on this life? I mean, like that whole definition said, it depends. Is it on a spiritual level? Is it on your human level? Is it on like the 3D, what we could see? Is it on... What is it? I mean, I think everybody asks that question. For me, I would say it's all of those. Um, I do have free will. I do um, have a spiritual level, you know, as far as my belief in God, Jesus. Um, I also believe in finding love and companionship while you're here. I believe in having some worth to this life. Um, The older I get, I do realize how life is so short, but also so long. I also believe that, you know, life is not easy at all. And so, you know, some people have been dealt harder blows than others, dealt harder hands than others. And also, we don't know when it's going to get hard for us. So we kind of got to make the best of what we have, you know. I know for me, I try hard to not complain about too many things because I know that, you know, it could go, anything can go left for me. So, you know, you got to be thankful for what you got. So that's how I look at the purpose and meaning for life. Let's see what question two poses. Why are we here? What are we here for? Um, why are we here? We are here. Um, for me, I believe we're here to learn lessons and to be lessons to people, um, to help each other. You know, obviously, I mean, we could go around destroying everything, which a lot of us do are wreaking havoc on everything we touch. I mean, some people that is their purpose for some reason and um, you know but I believe that we are here to help people to help each other grow to spread some light you know because I do believe that we came from God and that is what God would want us to be doing to make people happy you know obviously I'm not God I say that all the time people actually get on my nerves most of the time but I know the world wouldn't go around if we didn't have people um what is the origin of life well I believe we originated from God 
What is the nature of life? What is the nature of reality? Um, that is an interesting question. I mean, what reality do you want to live in? And that can go on so many levels, you know, that question. What is the purpose of one's life? You know, just like I said, to spread some type of goodness. I can definitely say for me, I, you know, I'm not perfect by far. People get on my nerves. I probably get on people's nerves. Um, If it was up to me, I would be on an island living my best life with the people I love. And even they would get on my nerves. Like, you know, I try to do good every day. That's my purpose and what I think that we should be doing. Um, As far as the value of life, life is very valuable. Some people don't value it. They run amok and live reckless lives, which, hey, everybody wants to, you know, I really just think about that whole free will. I mean, we could, and don't get me wrong, some people are born into poverty and some people just, you know, can never catch a break when it comes on that aspect. But I do think that all of the the walks of life, the times that we're in, like all that determines who you are and how bad do you want to be at a situation. Some people need little to be happy. I envy those people. Believe me, I'd love to be reckless and just for, just to not have responsibility, you know, but it is my free will that has chosen to take these responsibilities What are we living for? You know, we're living because we've, for me, I've lived so long. I might as well finish it, right? (laughs) Um, And we've overcame a lot of things. You know, even people that might think they have the most boring life. There is something that God has protected you from that did not kill you. That you probably don't even think about it. Because we take our lives for granted so much that is just crazy um let's get back into the science of it It says many members of the scientific community think that science can provide relevant context um insights into science of happiness death and anxiety so let's see the science of happiness positive psychology is the scientific study of what makes life worth living so I would think that this has to do with like some kind of drugs, but it actually just says meditation and exercise, um, which I would, I don't know how that's scientific, but maybe they've done some study to figure that part out. Um, as far as death and anxiety, they talk about this as far as like realizing that death is inevitable and to some context unpredictable, which is very true. I personally am not afraid of dying because, you know, I do believe in the afterlife and I also believe in God. So I don't really worry. And sometimes I just think this world is so evil. It's kind of like, you know, What is on the other side? Um, Yeah, they just talk about the neuroscience that describes reward, pleasure, and motivation in terms of neurotransmitter activity, especially. You know, that is scary because, you know, with this whole thing, Neuralink and all that, where they want to implant something in your brain to make you happy or make you feel a certain way which I think that like we are I, I you would be surprised at how many people would get that you know a lot of people say like oh I would never get something implanted but some people are so addicted to technology and just wanting to be there's a show on Amazon Prime called feed you should check it out where people literally have their feed built into their brain and they can just look it through it through their eyes and 
this show was made a while ago, but literally people were just not even able to walk because they just laid down all day and washed their feet. Um, here's something that some people give their answers to what the meaning of life is to them. Some people say to chase their dreams. Some people say to live one's dreams. Some people say to spend it for something that will outlast it. That's interesting. I don't know what that sentence even means. To matter, to count, to stand for something, to have made some difference that you lived at all. I do think it is important. It's not important because you'd be dead. But when you die, you know, I can tell you that if you're being social media famous or something like that, people aren't going to remember you for that, you know, because it's just the market's saturated, guys. Sorry. Um, Unless you have like the most outrageous death ever, which I don't know, people have topped it. Um, As far as what matters and what we feel that matters, I feel like it only should matter to the people you love. You know, as far as what matters to the world, I mean, the world is ever changing and, you know, it's just kind of like I wouldn't get caught up in that, but I'm not caught up in trying to matter to the world, only to the people I love and all that. I think that is kind of a waste of time. Someone else said to expand one's potential in life. To become the person you always wanted to be. I mean, in today's society, what does that even mean? I mean, I've never... I have I guess I'm crazy like that because I just never had, like, what do I want to be when I grow up? I mean, you think, like, oh, I would like to be rich or i like to be famous. But then you look at those people and they all look miserable. They all look miserable, so... I wouldn't mind the money part, but I wouldn't want to be rich or famous to become the best version of yourself. That is a an easy statement. But for me, I just think like, what is the best version of you? Are you saying physically, emotionally, spiritually is life that great that you can have all of them at once? I don't think so. Um, I think I'd rather have more wisdom and make better choices as far as me, um, but to become the best version of yourself, what what is your comparison to your old self, your younger self, your so many things can go into that. To seek happiness and to flourish. Yeah. But once again, like what makes you happy? Is it your family? Is it traveling? Is it you know, what is flourishing, like, to do better than you did when you were younger, to, like, you know, I mean, growth is definitely important, um, as far as happiness, I know the older I get, my happiness is just, like, I used to be, when I was younger, I wanted to just be doing something fun all the time, now I just seek peace and quiet and a beautiful atmosphere and that could just be the sun and the wind just ever so slightly blowing that's my idea of that to be a true authentic human being that is funny in today's society what is that who is authentic anymore nobody um to to be able to put the whole of oneself into one's feelings, one's work, one's belief. Once again, the media, I feel like, controls so much of what we feel and believe that I don't, I bet you most people don't even know what their beliefs are. They believe whatever the media tells them. To, sum- to follow or submit to our destiny. You know, most people live this life never even knowing what their destiny is. And yes, I am sounding very pessimistic, but <laughs> just I'm reading this and I'm just like in a 2020 standpoint of these questions, most people have no clue what their destiny is. To achieve 
a flourishing human spirit. Mm -hmm. To survive, that is to live as long as possible. I would not want to live forever. To evolve, to replicate, to reproduce a dream of every cell. To seek wisdom or knowledge. To follow the clues and walk out the exit. To learn. I like to follow the clues and walk out the exit. That's hard though because you do have to be focused. And with so many distractions, you have to be able to see the clues. Life definitely does leave you clues. I definitely believe in that. But you have to be paying attention or you'll just keep repeating stuff. To learn as many things as possible in life. I like that one. You always should be learning and you're never too old to keep learning. To know as much as possible about as many things as possible. Yeah, but in the society where we know too much and then t- and our brains are overwhelmed. To seek wisdom and knowledge. To face our fears and accept the lessons life offers us. Yeah. I mean, nobody likes facing fears, but they come. To find the meaning of the purpose of life. To find the reason to live. To resolve and balance of the mind by understanding the nature of reality. That's pretty deep. But like I said, when you live in this world, what is reality? There's so many things going on, like with school shootings, the environment, a war. Like there's so what reality are you trying to understand? Because I sometimes have trouble understanding just what's going on in my house. To do good, to do the right thing. Yes, you should try to do that. To leave the world better than you found it. Well, that's going to be hard. To do your best to leave every situation better than you found it. Yeah. To benefit others, to give more than you take. To end suffering. You can try. To create equality. (laughs) Very big uphill battle. To challenge oppression, to distribute wealth. Um, Yeah, I mean, if I had it to give, but then I don't want to starve. To be generous, to contribute to the well-being and spirit of others, to help others, to help one another. I definitely think you should try to do that. I don't think you should hoard everything you have. I think we will we are better off when we help one another because you never know when you'll need it and you never know that person that helped might come along and help you when you need it. To take every chance to help one another while on your journey here, to be creative, to forgive, to accept, forgive human flaws. That's an interesting one. You know, I'm thinking about like forgiveness and, you know, human flaws per se. And, you know, I have forgiven a lot of people um, and I would want to be forgiven for things I've done as well. But I do know that life is short and but peace is very powerful. So I know that like if someone doesn't bring me peace, I wouldn't want them around me. But I do know that sometimes we get caught up on being stuck in an unforgiving state on something and we cannot at all rewrite the past. So it really doesn't help to be stuck on stuff. So forgiveness is definitely important just to be free. Doesn't mean you have to go be back in this person's face, but let it go and Move on so you can be prepared for the next person that's going to make you mad because it will happen. To be emotionally sincere. Um, That's a good one. I don't know how much sincerity there is out there, but pick and choose your friends and mates wisely. To be responsible, to be honorable, to seek peace. Yeah, peace. And is definitely, I mean, this list goes on and on and on and on and on. You know, you get in the religious part, being fruitful and multiply. 
to love more, to seek pleasure and avoid pain. That is really hard because that's really to me not how life works. You cannot avoid pain just like you can't avoid pleasure. I mean, they're going to happen either way. You might just get a tickle fit from watching a movie and it's going to be pleasurable. Um, To rule the world, funny. To know and master the world, very Wow, interesting. Who are these people? Some people figure feel like life has no meaning. Life or human existence has no real meaning or purpose because human existence occurred out of a random chance in nature and anything that exists by chance has no intended purpose. Interesting. Interesting take. Life has no meaning, but as humans, we try to associate a meaning or a purpose so we can justify our existence. There's no point in life, and that is exactly what makes it so special. Interesting. One should not seek to find out or understand life. The answer to the meaning of life is too profound to be known and understood. I could agree with that, you know, but you have to have something that gets you through. If you sit and just think life has no meaning, then why are you even trying, you know? That's my philosophy. I mean, I can see where that person might come from on that. But, you know, also just put in a meaning. I do agree that life is too profound and it's too big. And there's so many things that happen. You know, I really don't. I really do think in the end that, you know, you'll know in the end. Some people, they have a purpose and their purpose is to do whatever that talent or calling it they have. But some people, like I said, never figure it out until the end. And I do think in the end we will. You will never live if you're looking for the meaning of life. I don't think that's true. I think like you'll try more things to see what makes you happy. Ultimately, a person should not ask what the meaning of their life is, but rather must recognize that if it is they themselves who are asked and aware, each person is questioned by life and they can only answer to life by answering for their own life to life. They can only respond by being responsible. I definitely agree with that. I mean, obviously, you can't determine or describe the meaning of someone else's life. You have to only figure out what yours is. It's hard enough to live your life. That's why people that stay in everybody's business can never be in control of their life because they're always worried about what everybody else has going on. But I just wanted to talk about that today because, you know, there's so many things and so many you know, so much stuff going on that it is just sometimes... Sometimes you just sit back and be like, why am I here? Why am I, you know, working every day? Why am I doing this? What am I, you know, the the grind of working and possibly taking a vacation once or twice a year just to get back to working and, you know, it's just, it's just sometimes you just be like, what am I doing all this for? But on the same token, I will say that I'm happy to be able to do it because I know a lot of people didn't wake up today and can't do it. And I woke up in my right mind to be able to ask you this question with everything working right on my body. And, you know, I'm I'm still alive. So, you know, whatever that great meaning is, I'm, I am certain that in the end, God is going to let us know. I think that God is our guide. I do agree. Like I said, that you do need to listen and look for the clues because God does provide it. And, you know, that's what we call our spirit, our Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, our spirit and our Holy Spirit will intercede for us and help us. But we have to not be too distracted And I mean, now more than ever, like, I feel like people need to get grounded and focused because there are so many distractions going on, so many things going on and just a lot of things and the media, it just, if you really pay attention to all that, it's just like, um, 
and what media, you know, you can go all over to, you know, hot topics with uh, some gossip and there's thousands of things going over there or you can go to political route or you can go any route. There's always a million things going on. There's wars, there's famine, there's everything. There's got there's gas prices. I mean, you can go and that is why you know, I ask, what are you doing it for? Why do you get up every day? Why do you stay in the grind? You know, what keeps you calm? How do you stay focused? I know for me, I like to go outside. I like to you know, feel the rain on myself. I like to feel the sun. I like to feel the wind. That's what makes me feel alive. And just knowing that I'm still here and I would rather be doing this mundane life than not living. And when it is my time, I hope that I have made some impact and some, you know, on the people I love and the people that I touch. I hope the people that know me or come in contact with me will be like, you know what? She was a decent person. That's all I really want. But yeah, you guys, you know, stay focused on whatever it is that life means to you. Whatever brings you happiness and peace. I hope that you continue to receive that. And yeah, stay blessed. Love and Merge is signing off with The Meaning of Life.